Welcome to my channel, dear students and all the viewer. Uh, see, here's the problem of very interesting problem uh, for the higher study. Actually, mainly the integral limit is there is 0 to infinity, and this is it is equal alpha x into sine x over x, and that will be pi by 2 plus tan inverse alpha, where alpha is more than 0. And from this, we want to deduce the value 0 to infinity sin x by x and dx and equal to phi by 2. This is the main queries. So, uh, I am using here, uh, so different type of technique to finding the value of 0 to infinity sin x by x dx is equal to pi by 2. Actually, I am noticed, uh, noticed to all of you uh, that I have a uh, five technique to solve this problem. Uh, the value of 0 to infinity sin x by x dx and equal to pi by 2. Uh, this is another method to finding the value of that okay see carefully so so that's why i let a function for integration and uh, let us assume uh, this is your solution so the integral is here uh, 0 to infinity and e to the power alpha x into sine over x and this is dx okay this is dx so i want to introduce uh, another variable parameter that is beta that is e to the power minus beta x so let us assume where beta is more than the alpha okay then that is equal to uh, this is a zero to infinity and e to the power minus x into beta minus alpha and this is here sin x over x and dx okay this is the technique of solving this value finding of this value okay and also this from this we want to get this value okay so that's why i introduce uh, another parameter that is e to the power minus uh, beta x where beta is more than the alpha but you know the head is given that the alpha is more than zero so now uh, so, I want to differentiate uh, this value, okay, that is partially with respect to the parameter beta. So, uh, del f and del beta and that will be here uh, 0 to infinity or oh, that is sine of our x and with respect to beta, this is e to the power uh, minus x into beta minus alpha and this is here and dx and so see here 0 to infinity if we differentiate and that is a sine of our x sine x of our x into e to the power something uh, this is here minus x into beta minus alpha here with respect to beta differentiation of with respect to beta therefore the x and alpha here is a constant so we can write here minus m m means here minus x and dx so these x and x are cancelled out and then we will get here minus uh, 0 to infinity and that is here e to the power minus x times of beta minus alpha into sine x and dx we want to get here uh, with the integration by parts integration by parts okay without limit uh, so let us assume this is as a j uh, this is e to the power minus x times of beta minus alpha into okay uh, sine x and dx so this is minus x beta minus alpha and this is your sine x and dx and this is the derivative of e to the power minus x times of beta minus alpha and this is here integral of sin x and dx and this is here dx if we integrate then we got here minus so minus e to the power minus x times of beta minus alpha okay 
and the integration of sin x is minus cos x and this is your minus if we differentiate with respect to x so that is minus times of beta minus alpha into e to the minus x times of beta minus alpha okay if we integrate then we got here minus cos x and this is at dx okay so and this is equal to minus e to the minus x times of beta minus alpha into cos x see this minus minus a plus so this is your minus so beta minus alpha into e to the power minus x times of beta minus alpha into cos x and dx again using here uh, integration by parts okay so minus e to the power minus x times of beta minus alpha into cos x so this is your beta minus alpha so again using integration by parts okay integration of cos x dx minus and ddx of e to the by minus x times of beta minus alpha and this is their integration of cos x and dx and this is their dx okay this is minus cos x into e to the bar minus x times of beta minus alpha this is their beta minus alpha integration of this is a sin x into e to the power minus x times of beta minus alpha okay and this is minus if we differentiate x times of this is minus okay minus and beta minus alpha integration sin x is a, a cos x that is sin x and here is dx so minus cos x into e to the power minus x times of beta minus alpha if we multiply here and this is here beta minus alpha into sin x into e to the power minus x times of beta minus alpha and this is minus minus plus plus beta minus alpha whole square see carefully minus minus okay plus minus minus plus then again minus so this is your minus and the function is your got j so this is your j so from here j j and j taken common so we have 1 plus beta minus alpha whole square and this is here take common e to the power minus e to the power minus x times of beta minus alpha beta minus alpha and cos x plus beta minus alpha into sin x then j is equal to minus e to the power minus x times of beta minus alpha over 1 plus beta minus alpha whole square and this is here cos x plus x times of no this is beta minus alpha times of beta minus alpha times of sin x and plus c okay if we put now i want to find uh, the value of and this is this is actually 
therefore that del f and del beta this is our minus so minus minus or plus actually we have taken only the positive sign or you don't take here the minus so see here the value of j here is minus of that so if you uh, want to get here minus signs of this so it will be here plus so this is your plus it is your minus x times of beta minus alpha over 1 plus beta minus alpha whole square and this is your cos x plus beta minus alpha times of sin x and this is 0 to infinity okay this is 0 to infinity so if we put uh, here uh, infinity so this is a uh, infinity big large number so 1 by that big large number is equal to actually 0 so whole thing is here 0 now look here then again minus and put here 0 so you get here 1 plus uh, beta minus alpha whole square and if you put 0 then 1 and we got here 0 so this is your answer so now if we uh, want to get here uh, f so f is equal to that is f of beta and that is minus integration and this is beta 1 plus uh, beta minus alpha whole square and that is minus tan inverse of beta minus alpha plus c okay so when beta is a very large number <clears throat> when when beta is very large okay then then beta tends to infinity therefore it will be well minus uh, okay x times of beta minus alpha and that will be tends to zero when x uh, beta v is very large okay therefore if for beta and this is here f of beta f of beta is equal to uh, 0 to infinity e to the power minus x times of beta minus alpha and this is sin x over x and that will be actually this is 0 so integral 0 to infinity and this is 0 over sin x by x and dx so this thing is 0 here okay <clears throat> this is zero actually so now we want to get f of beta and this is therefore from here from here and this is f of beta equal to minus tan inverse of beta minus alpha plus c now when this is large zero then f of beta is actually zero so implies that this is zero equal to <coughs> this is zero equal to minus tan inverse tan pi by 2 plus c when beta is very large okay so this will be infinity so infinity may stand 90 so we got here c equal to pi by 2 c equal to pi by 2 therefore f of beta again we write here f of beta and this is here pi by 2 minus tan inverse beta minus alpha okay now the question is here uh, okay f of beta means uh, f of beta and that means e to the power infinity e to the power minus beta x e to the power x times of alpha x times of alpha into sin x over x and dx okay and that is equal to pi by 2 minus 
tan inverse beta minus alpha. Okay. Now in your question <coughs> is this. So if we put beta 0, then we got the expression this is. Okay, then f of 0 means beta is 0 and that is 0 to infinity. And if beta is 0, so it is by 0 means here 1. So only the expression here is it is equal x alpha and this is sin of sin x over x and dx that is pi by 2 minus tan inverse 0 minus alpha and this is here pi by 2 plus so tan inverse alpha so and this is your queries which is proved now i want to get and uh, this value from 0 to infinity this is sin over sin x over x okay and that will be pi by 2 okay so that's why this is your again again and this is your 0 to infinity e to the power x times of alpha and sin over x and dx that is pi by 2 plus tan inverse alpha okay if we put alpha is 0 so then we got 0 to infinity sin over x and this is your queries when alpha equal to 0 then our queries is 0 to infinity and if we put 0 then we got here sin x over x so sin x over x and dx and that is equal to only pi by 2 and this is 0 pi by 2 plus 0 so equal to pi by 2 thank you for watching my video very interesting question